Welcome back students. In the previous lecture, we learned about Grady method and we saw that how do we solve a job sequencing problem using a Grady method. Uh, in today's lecture, we will try to solve a knapsack problem using Grady method. Now, the problem statement for a grab knapsack problem is that uh, we are given n objects and we have a knapsack uh, to fill with a capacity of m. Now, what I mean by knapsack is a bag or a container. Say, uh, this you may call a knapsack. So, this is a bag or a container in which I have to basically uh, fill some uh, fill it with some elements. The capacity that this knapsack has, let us call it just the capacity of m. I have n objects and I will be using, I will use these n objects to fill them into this container which is constrained or limited by a size or capacity of m. Each of these n objects you can find has a weight associated with it. So, let us call that weight as a w i. So, every such object basically has an associated weight. We refer to this weight as w i and uh, this knapsack problem when you solve it by Grady method, it is uh, sometimes also referred to as fractional uh, knapsack problem. There is another kind of a problem that is a 0 1 knapsack problem. So, this is also known uh, as a fractional uh, knapsack problem. The reason we call it as a fractional knapsack is basically because uh, we may use a fraction not uh, the whole object at times at times we may use even a fraction of the object uh, to fill this knapsack. So, essentially that is why uh, we have x that is varying between a 1 0 and a 1. So, we may take either the whole object or nothing at all or even a part of it or even, uh, even a uh, fraction of it and we take this uh, object and we place it inside the knapsack. Once we place a complete object or part of an object into the knapsack, then these objects they have some profits associated with them rather than the by p i s. So, once we successfully place some object into the knapsack then some certain prop fit associated with this that is a p i and x i we earn this much profit for placing. Uh, what is the objective in the knapsack problem? Objective obviously is the uh, is to fill the knapsack to its capacity, complete capacity, such that the profit earned is maximum. So again, uh, it's a, a maximization problem in this case, uh, just like our last case when we look, looked at the job sequencing problem, which was also a maximization problem. So this essentially is a maximization problem. Greedy method. Uh, how do I approach this particular problem using greedy method? There are three different approaches uh, that we can. Uh, use or three different ways with which in greedy method with which you can approach this problem. One is that, so using greedy method, one is that should I look for the maximum profit. So, if I five job, uh, five these uh, objects at hand and let me try to take the one object which is the highest profit. So, the uh, one object which is the highest profit will be will first go in inside the knapsack. That is one way of doing the thing maximizing the, pro uh, maximizing the profit uh, using the maximum possible available that is the greedy part right. The greed part is that whatever uh, object has the maximum profit take that object. Uh, so, that is like in terms of profit maximum profit that is one way of doing it. Second way of doing is that let us select an object or let us select uh, the unit which has the least weight. So, what is going to happen because of that is that with least weight I can fill maximum number of objects. So, if I if I first take the uh, one object which has the least weight. So, by that I can basically slowly fill the knapsack instead of taking one object which is the highest weight and uh, thereby I may not be able to fill any more objects because that may end up the entire capacity. So, let us uh, take the least weight uh, first that is another approach and then there is a third approach. The third approach that is greedy method takes is that let us try to balance between these two. Let us try to balance between the profit and the weight. Let us try to take in terms of ratio every object has some weight and every object has some profit associated with it. Let us take in terms of an ratio of these uh, weights and ratio of these uh, order of ratio in this case will be it is a ratio based essentially profit and weight ratio. 
So this is the approach uh, that essentially we will be selecting in this case. So formally, if I put this knapsack problem, my objective here is to maximize the profit earned. So since we are taking it in terms of ratio, so I will say maximum possible profit earned that I can earn, while as I will vary between n and 1, there is a number of objects that are available. So maximize the profit, but I have a constraint that constraint is size or the capacity of the knapsack that the sum of these objects that I am going to use to fill should be less or equal to m. It cannot exceed the capacity of this knapsack. So that is a constraint while well, I essentially will vary between 1 and n and about these objects every single object I may take object fully not at all or partially. So, I may take I may not take the object at all, I may take it uh, the whole of whole of it or I may take it partially and my i will essentially vary between n and 1. So, this is the formal uh, statement of this. Now, two possible things one is a feasible solution as we have seen in the last problem and another is the optimal solution. So, let us call this equation 1, let us call this equation 2. So, any set, any subset, any subset of objects x 1 to x n, any such set of objects that satisfies this part that the weight does not exceed m, any such sub subset, any collection of elements that we can use to fill this such that it satisfies this equation that it does not exceed the allowed capacity will be a satisfying equation 2 is a feasible solution. And out of these set of feasible solutions, optimal solution is the solution is the feasible solution. So, out of this this set out of this set of, so I have three feasible solutions or I have four feasible solutions. So, there are different four ways with which I can fill the capacity of this knapsack. So, those four ways of filling it up will form the four feasible solutions and one among those solutions, one among those feasible solutions will be such which will basically satisfy this problem. So, say uh, the feasible solution 1 earns me a profit of 20 and feasible solution 2 earns me a profit of 22 and feasible solution 3 earns me a profit of 18. So, one such feasible that is feasible solution 2 which earns me a profit of 22 maximizes the profit. So, one that such solution of will be uh, the optimal solution. So, optimal solution is a feasible solution that satisfies property 1 or equation 1. So, this is a formal statement for a knapsack problem. Let us take an example and see how we can solve a knapsack problem using Grady method. Let us take a look at this example that we are going to solve uh, using Grady method. Now, see uh, we have total number of uh, total of 7 objects here and the maximum capacity of the knapsack in this case is 15. Uh, let me try to put it like uh, more or less it is a bag which can contain 15 kgs and these are different objects that I can put in this bag and every such object maybe has uh, instance of 2 kgs at a 3 kgs at a 5 kgs that may not be uh, completely appropriate example, but just to make you understand I am trying to put it that way. So, I have 7 objects in this case. So, these are my 7 objects each object has an associated profit. So, if I can put object 1 completely into my knapsack if I can put it inside my bag object 1 then it earns me a profit of 10 there is a profit I will earn, but at the same time it will be occupying about 2 parts out of the available 15, these are available 15 parts of the knapsack. So, it will be basically occupying the 2 parts in this knapsack that is how it works. For object 2, if I can put object 2 in my this knapsack it may earn me a profit of 5, but at the same time it will be occupying space for 3 units. For object 3, it will be earning, uh, producing me a profit of 15, but at the same time it will be occupying 5 units of my knapsack. So, the approach that I try to discuss before this is that 3 possible ways are there. Either I approach by means of profit, maximum possible profit. Say uh, in this case, 
I first select the 18, right? And it will occupy four parts of it. Then I may select 15, but this may not necessarily lead to an optimal solution. Or else I may go in terms of lowest possible weights. So I'll first select maybe a uh, object 7, which has the least weight, but it will only earn me a profit of 3. Another object I can select this, it will only earn me a profit of 3. The method that greedy algorithm takes is the ratio based on these, ratio based on this profit and the weight. So that ratio essentially in this case is equal to profit and weight ratio for object 1 is 5. So this is like 10 and 2. I'm trying to find out P of I and W of I in this case. In this case, uh, 5 divided by 3 is almost 1.33, something like that. Here, 15 and 5, the ratio will be 3. In this case, ratio will be 1. In this case, ratio will be 6. This is uh, 4.5 and this is a 3. So, these are the associated profit weight ratios of these objects. So, this is the object that we are going to select. Now, since uh, the profit weight ratio of every such object is available to us, we will be selecting one object with the highest profit weight ratio. So, let us see which one has the highest. In this case, object 5 has the highest profit and weight ratio. So, that is the first object that I will be selecting and completely. So, all of its weight. So, essentially my uh, profit that I have earned in this case is a 6. Profit I have earned is a 6 uh, or let me let me delay it for some time. Let us see the capacity in this case. So, 15 was the actual capacity and since I have selected this object so, it has a weight of 1. So, it will be occupying 1 space. So, I am left with 14 units. Next highest profit, uh, profit in this case is for object 1, which is a profit weight ratio of 5. This is the next uh, largest profit weight ratio and it has a weight of 2. So, the knapsack will be having 2 more units will be occupied by object 1 and I am left with 12 more. Next in this case is the profit uh, for object 6 that is a uh, 4.5 and profit weight and the weight for that is 4. So, object 3 will go inside and I will have capacity reduced further by 4. So, I am left with a capacity of 8 in this case. Okay, Let us see what next we have. The next profit we have um, a 3 and a 5. So, we can select either of them. We can select this is a 3 profit rate and this is a 3 uh, profit rate ratio. So, if I take this, what is going to happen is that it is an 8 minus it is a weight of 5. So, I am left with 3 units. So, I am left with 3 units and there is one more uh, this profit weight ratio of 3. I will be selecting that also. It occupies a weight of 1. I am left with 2. Uh, capacity of 2 in this case. Next, I can find I am left with only these two 1.33 profit weight ratio and 1. So, this is larger one. So, I will be taking this, but here is the problem. The problem is that in this case, the weight that it carries is 3 and the available space that I have is only a 2. So, essentially this 3 will not fit in this knapsack because the weight of this object 2 is larger than the available capacity. So, what we will do is that we will take a fraction of it. We cannot take all of it. So, we will take a fraction of it. The fraction of it will be we will be taking two parts out of this. So, when I take two parts out of this uh, actually filled. So, I have taken this as whole. I have taken this as whole. I have taken this as a whole. I have taken this as a whole. This I cannot take as a whole. So, I will be taking two parts of it. And this I cannot fit at all because I have no capacity left. So, this object I will not be uh, placing it inside the knapsack or inside the container. So, these are the different objects. So, object 5 goes first, then goes object 1 into the knapsack, then goes object 6 into the knapsack, then object 3 and object 7, finally parts of object 2 and object 4 is left out. We cannot fit it. Let us try to uh, find out how much profit have we earned 
by filling this knapsack in this particular order that has been uh, dictated by the Grady method. So, the uh, weights if we find some of weights associated with this. So, here in object 1 it has a weight of 2. So, since we are taking the quantity 1 we have taken and there is a weight of 2 and plus in this case we are taking it partially a fraction of it. So, that fraction and the weight is given is 3 plus we are taking complete of this. So, weight is 5, 4 we are not taking we can skip it or we may write 0 into 7 or we may skip it you do not need this because either way it is a 0. So, it is not going to add up in this case it is a weight of 1. So, 1 into 1 in this case it is a weight of 4 uh, let me put it here plus 1 of 4 and here last case is a weight of 1 which essentially is this is a 1, this is a 4, this is a 1, this is a 0, this is a 5, this is a 2, 3 and 3 will get cancelled and this is a 2 which if you see uh, it will basically sums up to 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 which is 15 which is the given capacity. So, we have uh, filled the knapsack to its complete uh, available capacity. Let us see how much profit we have earned uh, by filling it like that. So, summation of profit. So, object 1 when we place object 1 in this case we earned a profit of 10. Then two parts of object 2 each uh, with a profit of 5. So, two parts of object 2 with a profit of 5. Then whole of object 3 with a profit of 15. This one we did not uh, fill it. So, there is no profit in this object 4. In object 5 we have profit of 6 and likewise in object 6 we have profit of 18. and total and one more yes object 7 we have profit of 3 if i add them up that's like 10 this is 10 this is 4.6 this is 15 this is 6 this is 18 and this is a 3 which sums up to 54.6 that's the profit we have earned by filling these objects in this particular order into a knapsack with a capacity of 15. So, this is the optimal solution that we have. So, if we uh, sum this up how much profit we have gained. So, essentially it is a 10 uh, and a 4.6, 15, 6, 18 and a 3 which sums up to 54.6. So, that is the total uh, way profit we have earned by placing these objects in this particular order inside a knapsack of capacity 15. That is the optimal solution that the greedy algorithm provides us. Uh, the multiple other feasible solutions that are possible say uh, if I put a 1, 2, 4, 3, 6 and a 7 that may be one feasible solution or else if I put it like 6, 4, 3, 2 it may be another possible solution. These all solutions will be counted as feasible solutions as long as you are able to fill the capacity. Uh, whatever is the available capacity of the knapsack you need to fill it up that and that one solution that will maximize uh, the profit out of those feasible solutions is the one that we say or call as the optimal solution. So, this is your optimal solution in this case. And this is how you solve a knapsack problem uh, using Grady method. Uh, next, we will be trying to solve optimal tape storage and Huffman coding using the Grady method. Till then, take care. Bye.